This episode then should be just as busy as episode 50. We've got update on the Juventus situation. We've got some transfer news to catch up on, um, a lot of matches to catch up on, and a huge match in Ligue 1. Let's get right to it. Hey guys, what is going on? Gamer James here. Thank you as always for coming back to the series. Thank you very much for clicking play. It's episode 51. Um, so we are at the moment still in charge of Marseille and it looks like that's going to be the case possibly for the rest of this season now. And the reason for that is that Juventus have given Giuseppe Zappella the guy who was a caretaker manager they've now appointed him as the interim manager which is a little frustrating um I really thought I was going to possibly get to switch clubs mid-season so the job is not available now at the moment he is under review when you go to the job security page so I'm hoping I'm hoping that they still decide to get a different manager in but he took over on the 4th of December and after a shaky start against Sampdoria and Legia Warsaw he's done really rather well in all he's won 7 out of 11 games in charge uh, the latest a 3-1 win over Livorno in Serie A he's taken them up to 5th as well which is very very worrying when you come to think of the, jo the manager's job um, if we go in here, you can just see it's been a ridiculous um, run of form. I think he did he take over? He took over here. They were 12th. 12th on match day 16, match day 23, and he's got them up to 5th. Not great. Not great doesn't fill me with confidence um, I'm as I say I'm hoping that they decide that they still want to get in a, a bigger name manager uh, because I really think that I could do something with the team obviously it's Juventus you know they're a the dominant team in Italy usually haven't won it for a couple of seasons though probably not going to win it this season although it's looking like they could get top four but I really want to I want a new challenge I want to try something I I want to try a new league I want to try something else now for the last two or three months of this save this save has been going since fm17 came out i'd like it to run now until the end of fm17 i kind of feel like i've come to the end with marseille but i guess we'll have to see what happens going forward won't we let's get on to some transfer news so we have brought in a few players only really one with a view to being in the first team right now and that is clemon langley uh, centre-back, left-footed centre-back, so he comes in as cover for Malang Sar. Uh, we only had uh, Eric Bai, Malang Sar, and Lucas Perrin as our senior centre-backs. Um, they were the only, only ones we had, so I needed to bring one in. This guy looks really good. He fits the bill perfectly, so we've now got two right-footed, two left-footed centre-backs. So we've got symmetry at the back now. Really, really pleased to get this guy in. Uh, he hasn't played for us yet, um, probably won't be playing today, but yeah, really glad to get this guy in to provide us with a little bit of cover, and he's French as well, which always helps. So in terms of the others, uh, we've brought in Antoine Bois, uh, another French guy, he's a, he's a new gen, but I think must have been, at the start of the game, a new gen. Um, looks like good potentially really good right back uh, three and a half star potential ability for our team he's got some really good stats already we've immediately sent him out on loan to Zulta Varagem in Belgium uh, we've signed him from Lons but he, he just he looks like he's got a lot of potential and again French young um, if we do end up staying at Marseille next season then it's one of those that we can bring through uh, Boris Kamjar as well is a winger Looks half decent, Cameroonian. Um, he came in on a nominal fee. It was five thousand pounds euros, whatever we've got it set at. So it's um, it's not really a much of a risk. I'm not sure what to expect from him, but he's pretty quick. He's got decent crossing already as well. So there is something there for an 18-year-old. 
there's something there to be worked on. Uh, you can see his potential ability at the moment is only two and a half stars for this team. So it'd be interesting to see if he does progress, but it was cheap. It was it was just a, an easy little signing to make, um, just to see if we can do anything with him. Um, and lastly, we have Sebastian Bourgeois. He is an attacking midfielder. Again, looks like he's got a lot of potential. Only 16 years of age. He's five star uh, ability potentially for our team. Does that make him a wonder kid? No, it hasn't got him down as a wonder kid, but just looks again another quality player. We've had to pay a fair bit of money for him, three million, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that because I think he would make it into the first team in the future. So I said we had a lot of results to catch up on and I wasn't kidding. Uh, we're not going to do the usual thing today of doing each match individually because there's just far too many of them. Uh, the last game, of course, was that sporting match. Uh, after that, we went to Lorient and struggled to a 1-1 draw. Bakayoko equalised for us after Wag Wagyu had, uh, had put the home team in front. But then after that, we've just been on a winning spree and a goal spree as well. Stad Rene, 4-0 win. Arias, Marchetti, Zivkovic and Sisto getting the goals there. Followed it up with another 4-0 win. Uh, Moussa Dembele getting a hat-trick. Pioni Sisto scoring in that one as well. Uh, then we had a 5-1 win away at Metz with uh, Zivkovic, Depay with a 2, a Sassibar and an own goal. And then came an away game at Martigues, who were an amateur team. They took the lead, Martigues, um, on 9 minutes, but then we rattled in 13 goals. Max Arias got 1, Francisco Javier got 1, Depay got a hat-trick, Bakayoko got a hat-trick, Marchetti scored, Hugo Serra is one of our youngsters, he came on and got a couple, and there were two own goals as well. Uh, I think it was 5-1 at half-time, so we then hit 8 in the second half. It was just one of those we just scored with every highlight, it was ridiculous. Um, it was, you know, we met expectations, we should have won that as comfortably as we did, uh, but yeah, that's my biggest win. On FM for a long, long time. Uh, next up was Con away in the quarterfinal of the Coupe de la Ligue, and we blew them away as well. Uh, Max Arias, Andreas Pereira, and Vincent, Vincent Marchetti get the goals. It's Pereira's first goal of the season. It's his first goal since coming back from injury. He's been out for since basically the start of the season, so brilliant to have him back. And then we followed it up with Andrea Zivkovic and Moussa Dembele scoring the goals against Stade de Reim, which was a massive, massive match, uh, a massive win because Paris Saint-Germain had drawn uh, this on this match day before we played, so it was a really, really big game for us. Dembele scored a stunning volley to win it seven minutes from time, and it was a huge three points. Um, as we show you the league and table just quickly, um, you can see we're now third, Monaco atop, because they won in Paris against Paris Saint-Germain uh, in the midweek just gone in one of their games in hand. So they have opened up now a four-point lead. Could be a seven-point lead. We are playing Monaco today away from home. It's going to be a huge match. It's going to be a very, very, very tough match. 21 games into the season and Monaco are still unbeaten. A couple of videos ago, we were 11 games in, and I said I fancied Monaco to win the league this season, and they are really, really showing their credentials. If they beat us today, I would say that we will be out of the title race. They would be eight points clear of us, and we do have to play them at home. If we just go back to the schedule, um, and it's now going to be in March, you may remember it was going to be a video. Um, I think it was some point in when was it December I think it was it was some time and it got moved and it's been postponed like three times now it's been moved and now we'll finally play them in March assuming there isn't a cup match at some point there um, but yeah so today we are playing Monaco they are the home team today um, you can also see as well that we've got Leon three times coming up as well in the, in the next four matches in the semi-final of the Coupe de la Ligue and in the French Cup as well, as well as Ligue 1. The other Coupe de la Ligue semi-final is PSG and Monaco. So it's the top four in the league of the last four in the Coupe de la Ligue. 
So if we do get through, we're going to have to play PSG on Monaco <laughs> again. Um, I think that is about it. I think we are ready to go into the match. So this is the lineup we're going with today. We've got Pedro Rakovic in goal. We've got Moasa, Malangsar, Eric Bai, and uh, Angelo Fulgini as the uh, defence. Thiago and Bakayoko in midfield. And then it's Francisco Javier, La Celso, Memphis, and God up front. Um, I've, I've tweaked it now. This is now set up as a counter. We're playing structured. Uh, the fullbacks are now defensive fullbacks. They're not going to get forward it's going to be a back four I'm desperate to keep Monaco out uh, we've got a ball winning midfielder today in Bakayoko rather than a box to box and Thiago is the deep line playmaker and then it's wingers so the tactic is clear the ball out wide get the crosses in hopefully get Dembele on the end hit Monaco on the counter hopefully come away with something from this fingers crossed so these are the two formations then. Quite surprised that Monaco have gone with the um, the four one two three that they have. Um, Bernardo Silva, I noticed, is out injured, so they've got Mbappe has just been stunning. So has Thomas Lamar this season. Uh, who's this Mabuya guy? Who is this guy? Koi can't say Mabuya. South African. He looks tasty. Wow. He must be a wonder kid. He is a wonder kid. He looks phenomenal, doesn't he? Right. Um, it's going to be a tough match, but they've got Diego Costa on the bench. Not bad. Um, looking at that, I think we can get at them. I really do. I think if we can get as get the ball in the midfield, those wingers, hopefully, will have a little bit of space to work in and can cause some havoc. Let's do this. Let's get them out there. And let's oh now then we're gonna we're just gonna calmly calmly say we've been on a good run go out there and impress me let's see what we can do so we are underway here we have kicked the game off here's memphis out on the right this is probably just going to be the opening highlight let's uh well let's hope we could get an early goal that would be nice wouldn't it but no it's headed out of play for a throw uh there is going to be a highlight coming from it though because we're going to see it. Here's Francisco Javier, Lo Celso, Thiago now. This is a decent little start and Dembele's in. He's put the ball in the net and he's offside. It was a right decision, but an encouraging start there. Another throw in. Dembele's lost out to Semedo. Here's Jemison. Come on. Such a big game. This is a season defining. It's potentially league defining as well. It's a good run from Memphis. He's gone for goal, went for the outside of the foot. What was that? We're coming up to 11 minutes into the match. We've not really seen an awful lot at the minute in terms of highlights. Um, here's Mabuya, the wonder kid. Come on, close him down, gets a shot away and Rajkovic watches it wide. We might have to um, just do a little something on him because I don't think we're set to close him down or mark him or anything like that. So we might just have to uh, make some adjustments there. Uh, but we're not, we haven't got the possession we haven't got anything like that not expecting that you give up the possession when you're on a counter tactic here we are on defensive again Francisco Javier has given away a free kick right on the edge of the box is he going to get booked come on ref be lenient nope it's just a warning but it's a dangerous free kick this this could be fizzed in by Lamar up he steps it's into the wall it's back with Mabuya and Bakayoko clears Malang Sar with a big, big header away, but here's Toure, Keita, Mbappe. He's going to hit one, and Rajkovic tips it around the post. Good save. I would be delighted with a point come away from this match. Um, without question, I would take a nil-nil all day long. I would take a draw. A win would be unreal. It would be phenomenal, because Monaco have just really stepped up this season. I was having a look as that's another corner I was having a look before the match um, in every season so far with the exception of my first full season in charge when I finished uh, sixth when we were rebuilding every season after that we finished above Monaco um, if we do that this season we'll win the league for sure because Paris Saint-Germain looked like they're starting to decline a bit and Monaco are coming on strong I mean, 21 games unbeaten winning in Paris against Paris Saint-Germain as well it's very very impressive from them so far as that's a daisy cutter from Memphis it's easy for Chesney 
Yeah, so this is a huge pivotal match. Because we don't play them now in the rematch until March, it, you know, it could be pretty much redundant game that if um, as things stand. Here's Javier and Memphis and Dembele's in! What a save by Chesney. That is our best chance we've had so far. Possibly the best chance of the game. Oh, that was close. It was a great save and Lacelso heads it over from the corner. Fulgini clears. It was a lot more that attack in the corner. That was a bit more bit more promising, a bit encouraging there. Bakayoko's gonna have to watch himself because oh Mbappe sneaks in and it's side netting. Bakayoko's been booked and he's playing the ball winning midfielder role. He's gonna have to watch himself going forward from here. Uh, Thiago has also been booked, so both our central midfielders have picked up yellow cards, which is not good to say the least. Here's Eric Bai. Bakayoko. Oh no, he's lost the ball. Here's Gruic, Mabuya. He has been quiet, Mabuya, but he's played a great ball to Lamar. He ran out of play, ref. Oh, they scored. That went out of play. Gruic with his ninth goal of the season. Lamar ran that out of play. Look at this. Ah, oh, hole of the ball, hole of the line, I know. Brilliant little header down from Mbappe. Thiago lifts it out towards Javier, but Lamar has it now. Here's Naby Keita. Lamar again. Closing down. Lamar gets a shot away, wild, off target. So we have got a passionate encourage coming through, which has just gone through now, the last couple of minutes of the half. You never know, it could lead to something. Here's Semedo playing it forward to Grujic and Keita. Out to Mbappe, playing as an inside forward. Oh, and he's played it in for Mabuya and it's 2-0, right on the stroke of half time. Oh dear, oh dear, we're gonna be eight points behind. This is not good. I can never get a counter system to work. I can never get a counter-attack system to work. He was onside, it's a good finish, it's 2-0. Okay, so we've changed things around. We've gone to standard rather than counter. We just need to try and get a foothold in the game and then maybe go attacking a little bit later on. We've aggressively said, show me something else in the second half. It's gone green on 10 out of the 11 players, which is really good. I'm hoping that we can get into the back into the match early in this second half and maybe just get them a little bit jittery but I mean it's, it's a deserved lead for Monaco they deserve to be 2-0 up they've had by far the better possession the shots everything so let's just hope we can get a foothold back into this game in this second half and not just you know we lost 3-0 at, at Paris Saint-Germain just want to try and put up a bit of a fight in one of the games against the other title challengers as Memphis has a cross charge down. Is anything going to happen in this highlight? Malang Sar with the header away, but Keita has it in midfield and he is Mbappe. Long range shot over the bar. Throw for Toure. He is Semedo. Cross to Jemison. Good ball out to Mbappe. Forward, but Malang Sar heads it away, but there's no one there in a blue shirt. Lamar has it now and he's gone for goal and Rykovic catches it. Fulgini with the throw. Here's Lo Celso, Thiago, Dembele, Memphis, Dembele, Memphis! Oh, he could have taken that on. Here's Mabuya. Great slide tackle from Eric Bay, but it just comes to a player to a Monaco player and Mbappe should have scored. It's a good save. So we've made a couple of changes. Um, we've gone back to the normal 4-2-3-1. I set it to attacking though now. We've got 35 minutes to go. We need to get back into this game quick. Could open us up to the counter attack um, and we will get destroyed if it's on the counter attack. The only thing I am going to do is I'm going to put my wing backs as full backs just to try and deal with Lamar and Mbappe. We've also taken off Giovanni Lo Celso and Thiago. Assassibar and Pereira are on for those two. Let's hope. Let's hope we can get back into this. Here's Baba Rahman with the throw. Mabuya and Fulgini. Oh no, we're down to 10. That's, he's picked up both yellow cards in about five minutes there. We're down to 10. What the heck? What are we gonna do from now? <sighs> what do we do here? Um, right. Hmm. Well, I think we're gonna have to. We're, 
<laughs> I, I, I would normally take Pereira off, but he's only just come on. Because I'm going to put Sisto at right back, I think. But what if I do this? If I put Pereira there, and Bakayoko's been booked, the last thing we need is to go down to, to nine men. And we'll put Sisto there, and we'll just hope for the best. We'll leave it on attacking. The game is probably gone now because of that red card. I can't believe that. That is so annoying. Oh, Lamar will take the free kick. In it goes. Grujic looks to get up. Eric Bai gets to it. Lamar lifts the free kick in. Grujic is there and it's a great save for Ikevic. Mbappe lifts it back across. But it doesn't come to anything. So we, ha we have dropped it back to control as Baba heads just over. Uh, we've left on control fluid. We did give them a little calm, get creative. Just to see if, uh, if they can just get their heads up a little bit. I mean, we've been thoroughly outplayed regardless of the fact that we're down to 10. It was, we were thoroughly outplayed with 11 men. Not a great, not a great one to have as a live com really, is it? But um, yeah, we had, to, we had to do one of the big games as a live com. Uh, I was going to do Paris Saint-Germain, but I thought I'd get a game done now. And it was, it was potentially season defining. It pretty much dropped it. I know there's 16 games to go, but this, unless Monaco absolutely collapse, then we're not going to catch them with an eight point lead in this league it's just not going to happen all we can hope is that we can overturn Paris Saint-Germain and take second place here's Chesney with the clearance and Toure, Keita, Grujic, Sisto heads it clear but it's just coming straight back at us Mbappe to Lamar and that's a poor poor shot from Lamar Mouassa with the free kick infield to Pereira Assasibar have we got an attack coming here? Assassi Bar is gone for goal, and that is awful. Uh, if you look at the fitness of our players, we are fitter than they are. They are looking really, really tired. They did play midweek in Paris, but we should be overrunning them now. Surely we're playing to a higher tempo. Surely the fitness, the energy, the fitness should be should be playing a part in the match now. I know we've got ten men, but our ten men are fitter than their eleven. It should be making. Oh, Chesney's tipped that wide. Good hit from Assassi Bar. But yeah, surely the fitness should be playing a part in the match now in these last 10 minutes or so. Pereira takes. It's an awful corner. What was that? That was shocking. As Thomas Lamar has now gone off and Alan Jagoyev has come on. Here's Sisto and Javier. Pereira steals it. In he goes and he's gone for goal when he could have pulled it across. Ah, that's just frustration, I think, from the match. Um, we've... I mean, we've had a few shots away from home, nine, three on target, but yeah, we've we've not really done an awful lot in this game, even with 11 men. Here's Memphis, playing with inside forwards isn't working either now, but Mbouya's in to finish it and he's missed it. Big save, Rajkovic. So we've, we've changed to wingers. Uh, oh, there's Memphis, not sure what that was. So yeah, we've changed to wingers. We've said go route one, get it out wide, get the crosses in. See if we can just get a goal back in the last couple of minutes. Here's Mabuya though, and Mbappe and Rajkovic. He has kept the score down. He has been heroic. Um, he's made 13 saves. Uh, so he's done really, really well. As Navigator gives away the foul. This is a chance. Pereira lifts it in as awful. Francisco Javier turns and hits a brilliant shot. Chesney tips over, but Eric Bai was offside. Chesney will lift the free kick downfield. Jagoyev did really well there, but Francisco Javier has it now. And here's Dembele. He's got Depay out wide. He's gone for goal low, and Chesney saves. At least we've had a little bit of a go in the last five minutes. It's um, a little bit more pleasing. Shame that we had to have a man sent off. Uh, really shame I, again I cannot get a counter system to work I thought that might look pretty good that counter tactic but yeah that just did not work at all that needs some work doing to it um, oh, such a disappointment um, and it, this is one of the reasons why I'm really thinking of leaving Marseille because I feel we're now pretty much on a level footing with PSG and then you get Monaco come forward and put in a season like they are doing and it's just like I, there's always an obstacle there I just cannot seem to get 
up to the top of the league. I just can't seem to, to bridge that gap. Um, and I really want to win a league title on this series before the uh, before the end of FM17. And I don't think that is going to come at Marseille. Um, but we're just going to calmly just say, um, don't look back and worry about it. Just move on. Let's just forget it. It's gone. Um, Full Genie will be back in the team as soon as he can, really. He's um, one of two right-backs at the club, so he'll be back in the team. So, yeah, we still have a game in hand on Paris Saint-Germain. Second has got to be the target now. We were in phenomenal form before this match. I came into it expecting to lose, in all honesty. Even the fact that we were doing it on, on camera, I knew we were going to lose this. But it's a bit of a shame. We're eight points behind now. All we can do is keep going. Monaco have got to lose games at some point, surely. Um, apparently, Lo Celso is injured. There was never any mention of that in the in the match, but ugh, whatever. Um, right, the next game is going to be the Barcelona match, the home game in the Champions League first knockout round. Um, depending on how my recording schedule goes, it might be a live com double with both legs. But if we get hammered in the home leg, then it won't be a double live com. But that home leg will be the next match anyway. So we've got quite a few to play off camera. Hopefully we'll be progressing to the Coupe de la Ligue semi-final and the French Cup 11th round. Hopefully we'll win the, uh, the league games in between as well. Guys, if you did like that, click like. We won 13-1 in one of the games. So, you know, click like. Uh, click subscribe as well if you haven't already. We're so close to 150. That would be an amazing milestone to reach. Um, and I will see you for the visit of the Catalan Giants, who I have a sneaky suspicion we could do well against. Just jinxed that totally now, haven't I? Come back for that and see how we do. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.